a live look now at the red carpet for the new ESPN 30 for 30 documentary about Carter High School. Former players and students as well as some of Dallas's biggest names are expected to attend tonight's premiere. They will all be taking their pictures right in front of that billboard there. The documentary focuses on the scandal surrounding the 1988 Carter High State Championship football team. It is a story that is still connecting families in Oak Cliff. Here's News 8's Demon Fernandez. At Carter High School, everybody wants to know what's going on in Carter. Y'all ready for this? There's a lot of history around this field. Carter will always be that team that everybody wants to hear about. And when it comes to sports, football is a legacy connecting Derek Cherry and his son Jarrell in a special way. Under control, under control. So 29 years. How's it feel to be back on this practice field? So everything's different, but still the same feel. You see, Derek Cherry was a player on the Carter Cowboys 1988 state championship team a team that broke barriers and put Carter's program on the map. The team was so loaded, there's so much talent on that team. But controversy and scandals surrounding the former state champs is still gaining national attention decades later. But one of the greatest legends involves the team you don't remember from Friday Night Lights. A new ESPN documentary, 30 for 30, What Carter Lost, is set to be released next week. It's just hard to hear about it all the time. <laughs> has been able to stop the Carter Cowboys. The documentary explores the chaos and embarrassment Carter's 1988 football team endured, from constant court hearings to a grading scandal, from the arrest of several players to the team ultimately being stripped of its state title. Jarrell Cherry is a current defensive end on the team and has already committed to LSU. He says history still has Carter's athletics program under the microscope. We can't afford to make Carter look bad at all because it's already a target on our back from like the past. Jarrell and his dad are eager to see the new documentary, but they want the community to continue focusing on the history of talent at Carter High and not its troubles. Only in no clip. Well, the way we brought this community together was by the way we play and how we how we brought that state championship back home to here at Oak Cliff. Damon Fernandez, Channel 8 News.